officers I heard is frustration, frustrated with community members I heard. So the status that I posted was for my friends only, and we were in a discussion um, talking about how preposterous that sounds to even target any group of people for whatever, whether race, occupation, uh, religion, anything. That's what the status meant. It was taken out of context. Um, and the, the conversation um, piece that was included was there wasn't included. No way, again, did I mean for officer for anybody to hurt an officer, to, for any riots to be started, you know, for, for anything like that to be taken serious. It was just a conversation. It was just a, a start of a conversation, a long conversation on, on my Facebook page so that we all could discuss what, what's been going on with our community and our law enforcement. And is there something you want to say to get directly to and, and I do want to thank both gentlemen that I spoke with, um, the both representative of the law enforcement. It was a, a good experience for me because, you know, I didn't think of it the way you let me know that your son was an officer and how you feel every day, with, even with him going to work. And that was um, a different perspective that I hadn't thought about. I didn't, uh, I haven't worked in law enforcement, so I don't have the personal uh, feelings um, as he did. So he explained to me uh, how that makes him feel reading something like that and knowing that just because he's not on a job, but his son's on a job. And he would never want anything to happen to his son, you know, um, or, or their family, which which I agree. I, I definitely don't. I support law enforcement. I, I call them every chance I get when there's something going on in my community, in my neighborhood. That's never been an issue. Um, I, and again, it's, it's been a real big learning experience for me, period. I've been an advocate for people to watch p what they post on social media, whether it's pictures, words, or anything. Um, and, and dealing with the law enforcement, just take it to your community, take it to your agency and discuss the, the difficulties or the misunderstanding that you may have with them. Don't go out on the tangent and, and do post statuses and make statements because it's very difficult to take back when somebody's taking it out of context. And I think that this case, with the, the thanks of law enforcement, the thanks of Mr. Howard, uh, can be a, a starting point where we can have a true conversation about the interaction uh, between law enforcement and the community. Both sides are in a difficult time frame. We've heard about the cases uh, that young African American males and young African American females have been unfortunately killed by the hands of law enforcement. But we also heard about the cases where law enforcement were going out simply doing their duty, protecting the community, and unfortunately were harmed or killed. So I think this case can be a message from Atlanta, as Mr. Howard said, the birthplace of the civil rights movement, uh, the birthplace of human rights movement, that we can come together, both law enforcement and community, and have a real conversation about healing, a real conversation about bringing an end to the violence on both ends, and moving forward and being a united community. And I think Atlanta can truly be that city that sits on the hill, uh, that can show the rest of the country how we can move forward from this. Uh, so I, I just thank Mr. Howard, I thank members of law enforcement, I thank my client, and I thank everyone that's here about starting this conversation about how we can interact both community and law enforcement. Because, you know, as Mr. Howard said, and I want to thank the pastor of this house, who's also my first cousin, and this is the house that I worship in. I've been at funerals on both sides in this building, and I think that it should start in this building that we begin to heal because many members behind the badge are community members, are people that love and that worship and that have their families and, and their friends here and they just want to protect the good citizens. So we need to embrace them. But on the other side, we have community members who have a strong distrust of law enforcement. And I think now, with the help of law enforcement, with the help of a prosecutor who has really taken a cutting edge approach to this, we can really have a conversation of how we make both Atlanta and the nation safe for both the citizens and law enforcement. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Howard. Thank you, members of law enforcement. Thank you for this opportunity.